Scary moments for search and rescue teams flying in a DPS helicopter near Kingman when they hit a whole flock of birds. Yeah, the birds tried to damage the plane, but luckily everyone on board was okay. Now the pilot and paramedic have quite the story to tell. Team 12's Brandon Hamilton stopped by the DPS hangar this morning to hear their story. We were off the rim about 6,500 feet, about 1,300 feet above the ground. We were going about 120 knots per hour. Keep in mind, they were flying in pitch black at 1 o'clock in the morning with night vision. The aircraft was very lit up. We had the anti-collision lights on, we had the position lights on, we had the strobe lights on, and we had the pulse light on. Then the unexpected. I saw some birds right before, you know, not even enough time to say anything to the pilot right before they hit. There was a very loud bang, one of the loudest bangs I've ever heard. And then obviously a rush of air, picked up debris and all sorts of stuff, blew it right in my face and I was instantly blinded. Imagine the shock, but both men stayed calm and did their job. At that time as a pilot, I just quickly looked at my instruments to see if anything had changed, did we still have an engine, did we still have transmission, are the temperatures fine, oil pressures, and everything checked out fine. I, you know, reached up, hit the uh, SOS button, put out an alert to let everybody know what was going on, and then let dispatch know what was going on. I slowed down, the aircraft responded well, so at that point, the emergency is over for me. It then becomes an urgency more than an emergency. The men found a large field and landed. This is the aftermath. A shattered chin bubble and let's just say bird parts splattered all over the helicopter, inside and out. You know, my torso it was splattered with blood and there's some, some blood on my face and uh, there was some, some blood on the pilot's face as well. I myself have never struck a bird at night flying. I, I, that sort of shocked me. As a pilot with 40 years of experience, it comes down to this. It's obviously a story to tell, but it is another day on the job. Brandon Hamilton, 12 News.